you know, yeah, I, I was extremely uh, excited we got out of that uh, that inning. You know, after the way it played out there for for me, I was extremely excited. We, we needed this game, and and um, you know, it turned out that was the, the really the, the the saving moment there. And you know, can't say enough about Javi in that moment. Uh, so proud of Javi. Javi hadn't been the go-to guy here of late, and I think we all know that with with the emergence of, of what Osich has done. You know, I felt was throwing the ball well. Javi hadn't, hadn't been in many situations uh, that big, um, uh, but it's why we love him. I mean, well, the pro he is, he was ready. Um, and I think I can speak for Giants fans, Giants ownership, front office, and and everybody in our dugout. We were really excited uh, to have him in that ma- that moment, that matchup, and he came through for us. Lester said this is probably the sharpest he's seen you. How good did you feel? Um, yeah, you know, I felt good. Um, uh, body has. Has come along and, and um, mechanics have, have, have starting to figure themselves out to where I can make some adjustments. Um, that extra day always helps too. You know, we had an extra day going off the of Pittsburgh start. You talking about just being able to bounce back after the way the game started with the pop up and the confusion there. It's ruled a double, and the, you guys were able to tie back up right. in the bottom of the first. You know that that's who this team is. This team's going to fight, and we're, we're going <laughs> to. Uh, hopefully, play a little bit better tomorrow. We, we didn't uh, play our best defensively tonight, that's for sure. Um, and I contributed to that in the first. Um, but at that point in time, we're going to dig our toes in and we're going to fight. Uh, it's a Giants way, it's a Giants baseball. Um, and it paid off for us tonight. Well, Bruce Bochy called that one of your pettiest efforts he's, he's seen. I mean, does that mean a lot to you? You know, look, we, we needed the game. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think it was a secret. Uh, you know, we, we, had to, we needed this one. Um, Paul, and especially watching the Dodgers win pretty handily, you know, all throughout the day in the clubhouse. That just, um, you know, when you get those starts every five days, they mean the world to you. When you know your team needs you, you, you do everything you can do. That's not promising anything in the future or even tonight. Just, uh, just that the effort level is, is going to be all it could ever be. You're able to get the ball in the park too against this Cubs team, and right. obviously get a lot of home runs. Uh, that had to have been key for this game. Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously, I thought Kaner pitched well. You know, we getting ready for this start. I'm going to dissect that start uh, to the utmost, and it just the balls that he missed with over the plate got hit really hard. Um, if you look at their averages, they're they're not a bunch of average stringing stuff together. They, they got some power throughout that lineup that, that runs in the balls, and that's how they beat us last night. So. Um, certainly a key to the ball game and, and something we uh, talked about going in. You know, Longburn have been the most consistent pitchers probably in the last month for this team. How do you explain your consistency so far? You know, just, uh, just uh, I'm going to get better. You know, I, I felt good coming out of the second half when we won a lot of those starts. And then, you know, um, it seems like if, if anything can go bad, it's going bad when I'm out there. I, I, and once again tonight, we were just able to grind through those things. A, a few things have happened in the um, – you know, the previous starts, I feel like this held us back from, from having a chance to win. Plus, I've been going against Ariettas and Shelby Millers and, and really a lot of the, the top guys. Um, just, just try to compete, and, and I think I'm going to get better and catch some breaks here along the way and, and really make a run. A lot of talk in recent weeks about the number two spot in the rotation. Do you feel you're in a place right now mentally and physically where you could assume that role if necessary? You know, I'm trying to be the best uh, I can ever be. On, on, you know, I'm trying to be a number one, you know, on my night, which means win day, really. You know, to me, being a number one is, hey, it's win day. Um, we expect that tomorrow night uh, or tomorrow day. And, and uh, you know, I think Leak jumping in that role, I'm happy we're able to give Heston a break. I think he can be a number one on any given night. And, uh, but yeah, certainly we're trying to fall in behind our best guy, which is bum. We all know that, um, and be the best we can be. And you know, Kaner obviously is going to figure it out. And I don't want to leave Tim Hudson, who's been sitting on go for a while now, ready to uh, step in when he's needed. And we all know how good Vogel song's been for us. We got some incredible uh, depth at that position, and we're all trying to fulfill um, big shoes.